Oh, it does work like that. Gallimera, Gallimera, Gallimera. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just thought I'd uh, test out my new phone for doing a, a, a balcony broadcast this morning. Uh, can I just say thank you to last night? Sorry the broadcast a little bit later than anticipated. Again, another very busy night in Magdalena's. Uh, thank you for those comments on the little video clip that I just sent out last night. Um, I ended up DJing to the wee hours this morning uh, as well as doing karaoke. Karaoke kind of pittered out at a certain point and then uh, obviously just went into DJ mode after that and uh, that worked very nicely indeed. Thank you to all those people who said goodbye last night as well. Uh, can I say thank you to a lovely lady by the name of Lafria. Um, she's an artist, a uh, singer. Uh, she has uh, a Spotify account. Uh, she's also on YouTube uh, and on all the media. We played a new single last night called I'd Be Free, I think is the name of it. You'll find it on YouTube. And I tell you what, it was really good. So again, uh, she came up to me yesterday and thanked me for the bit of PR on the old podcast. So once again, it was my pleasure, my darling. Absolute pleasure. And best of luck uh, with everything as well. Right, um, weather today, as you can see, See, lovely clear blue skies at the moment. Uh, thank you to Amanda for the uh, little broadcast as well, sending me the messages about the weather. Uh, she says it's going to be 34, but feel more like 37. Once again, we are still in a Cat 4 alert state uh, for fires. Uh, luckily, nothing untoward has been going on in that area. Once again, a quick reminder, the curfew is still ongoing in certain areas from 6 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, if you see any area that's cordoned off, you're not allowed into that area because uh, you could inadvertently cause a fire in there. So please, please, please stay on the main roads. Don't go off uh, up into Explore. OK, off the beaten track, uh, because you may find yourself being accused of arson. And I've got more news on fires uh, in the news report, uh, plus also uh, COVID stats as well. Right. So, so that is the weather for today. Then let me just quickly uh, turn around. Thank you to those people that are tuning in at the moment. Uh, one thing I have noticed, <laughs> it's quite difficult to read. <laughs> I'm falling over now. Uh, <clears throat> it's quite difficult to read uh, some of the comments. Oh, no, I'm looking at them. Uh, Maria Hadelberg's there. <clears throat> is that Babs Carhill is there as well? Uh, Derek Frost is there as well. Uh, Dave Matthews is also tuning in at the moment. So thank you. So uh, that is working. That is really cool. Right. Um, let's just quickly look at the uh, <clears throat> uh, flights today because uh, Jane is at the airport today. Uh, we've got nine flights in from the UK today. We've got four from London, two from Manchester, one from Birmingham, one from Newcastle, and also one from Bristol as well. Uh, <clears throat> so again, uh, we are still now starting to feel a British presence, uh, especially in Sylvie uh, at night. Right now, let's let's quickly look at the COVID infections in the last 24 hours. Um, they are down. Um, sorry, no, they've gone up again. Sorry, I do apologise. Yesterday I said there was 1,888 new infections. Uh, that has gone up uh, today to 2,218. Um, there were seven cases identified into checks into the country. That number is um, actually down, uh, is down on yesterday where we had 16. Right, islands of interest that we're sort of keeping an eye on uh, with everything that's going on. Mykonos had 22 new cases confirmed today. Uh, Rhodes has got 74 cases. Uh, Lefkada, a little island not too far from us in the Ionian, they've had eight cases. Uh, Corfu has had 47 more new infections within the last 24 hours. Uh, also, the prefecture of Kefalonia. They've had three new infections within the last 24 hours. And here in Zakynthos, well, I must admit, we've had eight new infections here on the island. And when you consider that uh, yesterday we had 22, the day before that we had 10, the day before that we had 20, and the day before that we had 10, obviously that is a number which is going down, which is, uh, which is really, really good. Um, when it comes to uh, deaths at the moment across the country from uh, COVID, at the moment, that number has dropped slightly. We had 17 deaths reported uh, yesterday. Today, 13 
deaths uh, across the country. Uh, that's 13,237. And once again, our condolences to the families that are affected. Uh, those people had underlying health conditions, 96% of them, or they were over the age of 70. Um, when it comes to ICUs at the moment, uh, We've got uh, a number there is going up as well. It was 241 uh, the other day. Today it's 250, 150 male and 100 female. Um, again, I've got a story in regards um, incubations, which I will get to in just a, a tick. In fact, I'm going to get to it now, actually. Um, today's uh, it's not really a big story at the moment and i think this this should be a bigger story here on zach and Thos. it's not getting the same coverage as uh, another story which i'm going to come to but anyway it seems that there's a seven month pregnant woman from zach and Thos, uh, who has coronavirus now she's being treated at the moment at the university general hospital of patra and uh, she is in a serious condition now she will undergo a cesarean section uh, her health is deteriorating and uh, she will probably have to be incubated. Now, the information is coming from the uh, NSS director of the University Hospital of Rio, uh, Dr. Papadolos. Uh, he was speaking to Open TV yesterday. Uh, he said, we have been treating a 30 week old pregnant woman from Zakynthos for three days now, who unfortunately, despite our efforts, is uh, ready for a cesarean section and will probably be incubated. Uh, we made a desperate attempt yesterday with a special mask and it seems that for now the results are better uh, he said he'd reached a tipping point yesterday and we made one last attempt with high oxygen mixtures and a special mask and it seems that so far she has responded uh, he added uh, he sh um, she should have a cesarean section immediately uh, the child should go onto an incubator immediately because it's uh, premature and we hope everything goes well, uh, the doctor said. And he stressed that the situation in the COVID clinic is marginal and that another clinic will be opened. We're talking about Patra here, not Zakynthos, that another clinic will be opened. He says at the moment uh, we have 22 beds and there are 21 sick people in those beds in Rio at the moment. So just to let people know, when I say Rio, we're talking Patra. Uh, Rio is a location in Patra where the hospital actually is. And so that's why people say, take me to Rio. They mean take me to the hospital uh, in Patra. So anyway, uh, fingers crossed the lady will pull through. Uh, we do know of some people that are pregnant here on the island. And we're just fingers crossed that it's, it's nobody that we know at the moment. But anyway, uh, we will keep an eye on that story and we'll see how that unfolds as well. Anyway, uh, the, the big story that everybody seems to be talking about at the moment is the fact that, that St. Dennis's Market is not going to take place during St. Dennis's uh, uh, celebrations, which are coming up on the 23rd. It seemed yesterday the Port Fund of Zakynthos said after examining all the epidemiology data observed recently and what is announced daily by the competent authorities of Zakynthos, but also just the general epidemiology picture and taking into account the uh, very increased tourism traffic on our island and respecting on one hand the concerns of a portion of the local community and on the other hand not wanting to help reduce reduce the spread of the pandemic and the emergence of new cases of the coronavirus, but also to avoid a possible local outbreak that would jeopardise the further outcome of local tourism on the island. Uh, they have actually basically said that they are saying now there will be no market here on Zakynthos during the celebrations of St. Dennis's uh, week. So again, <laughs> as somebody said to me yesterday, no more socks, no more new pants for another year. So everybody's wearing the same socks and pants they had uh, two years ago at the moment as they wait for... Uh, uh, <laughs> next year now, it seems, uh, fingers crossed. Anyway, finally, the Port Fund did express its solidarity with the Panhellenic Federation of Association of Professional Sellers of the EU states. But as they said, uh, we have to be very cautious at the moment. Uh, again, uh, for one week, 
all these people influxing in, all these traders coming in, the danger is that there could be a spike in coronavirus that could lump us back into uh, restrictions of red. So again, I'm going to miss it. I've got to be honest. I love the market. Uh, everybody loves the market. Um, but again, this year, obviously, uh, they're going to basically cancel it just basically out of a precaution. Um, going back to fires then, uh, fanned by strong winds yesterday, two big new wildfires erupted on Monday uh, in Greece, triggering uh, an evacuation alerts for villages in the southeast and northwest of Athens, only days after blazes consumed large tracts of forest land north of the capital. No injuries have been reported, but Greek media said a few buildings have been damaged. Uh, Greece has obviously been uh, roiled by hundreds, <laughs> that's the cat, uh, by hundreds of wildfires this month uh, on the heels of the most severe heat wave in decades, which, uh, which left its forest tinder dry. Other Mediterranean countries, including Turkey, Italy, Algeria and Spain, also have had similar problems and also Israel as well. And I'll come on to that in just a little while. Uh, scientists say there is little doubt that climate change uh, from the burning of coal, oil and natural gases is driving more extreme weather events. But then again, there's also been a lot of arson going on as well. Anyway, Monday's uh, first blaze in Greece broke out in the morning of the Kythera region, which is southeast of Athens. Uh, it burned uh, shrubland and it also threatened the national park in the Sioni area. Uh, these communities were considered evacuated. However, some residents desperately drenched their homes uh, while volunteers uh, with hoses and branches helped fight the fires. More than 100 firefighters, eight water dropping planes, 11 helicopters were striving to contain the blaze, which appears to be on the wane uh, by yesterday evening. Anyway, local mayor Demetrius Lucas told uh, Greek television that authorities were investigating reports of arson. He said residents had seen someone in a car setting fire to a dumpster. Uh, on the other side of the capital, to the northeast, another blaze broke out Monday in the villa area, triggering an evacuation alert for eight other villages. Strong winds hampered the firefighting efforts with flames threatening to spread uh, onto nearby uh, wooded mountain areas. Anyway, that blaze was being fought by 245 fighters, including 143 from Poland, uh, supported by eight water dropping planes and also nine helicopters as well. Now, the fire service said 45 wildfires erupted across the country between late Sunday and late Monday, and most were quickly contained. Anyway, the two major fires in Greece that began in early August, one on the island of Eva and the other in the National Park north of Athens, they said that one is still smouldering on Monday, and firefighters were trying to secure their perimeters. Uh, on Eva, water bombing planes were deployed again on Monday to assist the ground forces there. Uh, <clears throat> also on Monday, the Civil uh, Protections Minister, Nikos Hadliadis, who coordinates the firefighting against the wildfires, said that the country's response with the coordinated pandemic was uh, taken to Athens Hospital. Oh, so sorry, I'll, I'll re say that again. Uh, the Civil uh, Protection Chief, uh, Nicholas Hadiadis, who coordinates the fight against the wildfires response uh, to the coronavirus pandemic, was taken to an Athens hospital where he underwent unscheduled heart surgery. Yeah, a health ministry statement said that the operation was successful. Um, weeks of wildfires have stretched Greece's response cap uh, capabilities to the limits. About 24 European and Middle East countries sent ground crews, aircraft and vehicles to help. Most have left, although 40 Austrian firefighters remained to, uh, on the southern Peloponnese region with two major fires uh, which have been burning there for days. And uh, again, the Peloponnese is just across the road, uh, literally from us here in Zakynthos. Now, um, interestingly... Uh, um, can I just thank Eric in Israel, uh, Postman Shalak, as I like to call him. Uh, Eric sent me photographs yesterday of a fire in Jerusalem uh, and sent me a message to say that uh, they were having fires over there. Interestingly, 
just this morning, the Israeli foreign minister, uh, Yared Lapid, has asked his Greek counterpart, uh, Nikos Dentas, uh, for air support in uh, battling wildfires near Jerusalem. Uh, the Israeli uh, embassy in Athens said in a statement late on Tuesday. Um, Dentas said Greece will help as much as possible, considering that Greece at the moment is overstretched. It will be good to see if they can afford any assets to go across to Israel. But the embassy of Israel, through the ambassador, Mr. Yoshi uh, Aramani, appealed for assistance through diplomatic channels and uh, Greek authorities promised to help uh, uh, once conditions here allow it. Uh, that's what they said. So as soon as they can cut some slack, they will also go over there. Now, Israel has also requested help, not only from Greece, but they've also asked Cyprus, Italy and um, France as well. Uh, they said the fires have forced hundreds to evacuate and have sent clouds of smoke billowing over the city uh, as well. So there you go. That's the news for today. So again, coronavirus and fires, that seems to be the mantra at the moment and no new pants for at least another new year. I'm just going to have a quick look and see who's tuning in. Uh, Mandy uh, Jolly Previn is watching. Nice to see you. Uh, also, Barbara Clowther is... Is it Barbara? Barb oh, sorry, uh, somebody called Barbara and I can't see who it is. Amanda Hiller Amanda is also tuning in as well. Uh, Glenn Fraser, uh, Teresa Ann Huggett. Uh, Dave Matthews says, good morning. Good morning, Dave. Are you fishing this morning, are you? Uh, Denise Tyndall is watching as well. Alf Ling is watching. Uh, and again, thank you to all those people tuning. I'm just seeing if there's any any major comments, but there seems to be no major comments at the moment. But anyway, oh, hang on a tick. Uh, have I got a one? Uh, Teresa Ann Huggett says, uh, um, piddling down with rain here <clears throat> on uh, Harlow, Essex. Uh, sad about the mum and the baby keeping everything crossed uh mum and baby get better soon thank you for that yes Teresa. um again very very uh very worrying at the moment for that family i wasn't aware of that obviously one of those little stories that slipped through the net but uh yeah uh, we'll keep an eye and see uh, what is uh, reported on that lady who's in the hospital at Rio and also the child as well and hopefully everything uh, will be all right right that's it from me I've got to go back into town again get me lights fixed on my bike for the god knows how many time um, also as well Jane is down the airport uh, and then once she finishes at the airport uh, she's going to have a bit of a half day off and I'm going to be up in uh, uh, Sillaby. I'll be at the Prasina uh, little pool area. Looking forward. To, I need a bit of a dip. That's all I can say. But anyway, you take care. You have a good day wherever you are. I'll keep my ears to the ground. If I hear of anything, trust me, I will let you know. And uh, catch you later. Ta-ra.